In this video, we're taking a look at 60 different Minecraft custom items that we wish were added into the game. Now let me know in the comment section below which item was your favorite. Most of these items are very useful, so enjoy is basically just an x-ray mod but this is not just any x-ray mod this is an advanced x-ray mod that will allow you to scan for any block in the game and you can see we have diamond iron redstone your basic ores that you want to find enable diamond ore and as you can see it's going to outline every single diamond ore within 64 blocks as you can see all the green outlines there is tons of diamonds nearby but the cool thing about this is you can actually add blocks so i can search any block in my Minecraft, it will find it for me within the game and I can see it through the walls. You can even search for the end portal frame. That is so cool. Let's try to pick the closest diamond. It looks like this one that's under here. Let's see if there's diamonds right here, right on the spot. See how, oh, look at that. What a boom, what a bing. Boom, there we have it. A couple diamonds just like so. Yo, look how many that is. That is probably the biggest chunk of diamonds I have ever seen in my life oh my gosh okay wait let's count how many diamonds there were four now we have five okay oh my gosh oh my gosh there's so many of them oh my gosh oh wait wait guys we're not done there's even more right here oh my gosh okay there we go so we had four diamonds and now we have 15 what that is the biggest chunk of diamonds i have ever seen for the next minecraft hack why would you go underground and mine for ores and spend all that time breaking all those pickaxes when you could just grow your own ores just like you grow wheat or pumpkins or melons guys check this out this is going to blow your mind we're going to take some sugar cane on the side and then we're going to put a diamond in the middle and we have ourselves some diamond ore that we can grow <laughs> wow what okay let's get this farm started let's try to get this farm filled up with all these ores oh my gosh look at that we're just growing diamonds boys been about 15 minutes and oh <laughs> No way. Move on to our third Minecraft hack. This is Minecraft hack number three. We're going to take a normal compass here and we're going to turn it into a diamond finding machine. And then we're going to go ahead and surround it with diamonds. And then we're going to put two repeaters on top and then two comparators on the bottom. And then we're going to take a piece of stained glass and we have a gem finder. Look at that. Now you can actually do this with gold or iron ore as well. Take your compass and then surround it with some gold. Do two comparators on the bottom and then two repeaters. So same crafting recipe, but you're using gold and also use yellow stained glass instead of the white stained and you have a metal finder for gold. That is so cool. All you have to do is hold this thing just like a compass and it's gonna tell you what direction the diamonds are and what direction the gold is in. It looks like we got gold in two different directions here. And if you ever get bored of holding this thing, you can right click and put it on top of your head and you kind of look like a princess. <laughs> Just in case you get bored of holding it. The compass is saying they're this way. Hold on, boys. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Oh, look at that. There they are. There they are. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. Block this off. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the diamond detector is no longer showing anything. That means we got the diamonds in the area. Our first way to hack and find diamonds, it's with these mining goggles. They're basically like night vision goggles. And look at that. Do you see all those little blocks, those little squares that are blue behind me? Those are all diamonds all of them there's one like right there right beneath me actually let's dig down oh i'm almost there i'm almost to it come on i really hope this works if this flops this is not gonna be good and oh it actually worked look at that we got five diamonds just like that that was so easy oh my gosh these mining goggles are op it looks like we're seeing some other diamonds right here like right under the lava it looks like there's eight diamonds are these eight Oh, ho, ho. just be careful. There was some lava there. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Nope, nope, nope. Do not ruin my diamonds. Okay, guys, let's see how many diamonds we got here. Oh, yes. This is so many diamonds. Boom, just like that. We already got 13 diamonds. Is You can actually change which ore you want to find. So let's say you don't have a lot of iron or gold. You can go ahead and press B, and it will open up a menu, and you can select any ore that you want to see through walls. So let's say I want to do gold here. I can do ore gold. 
There we go. And now look, all the gold ores are appearing. That is so cool. This right here is our last pickaxe. Now this pickaxe is the ore generator. Now it basically has a random chance of generating tons of ores around you. Now I'm curious to see how this one works. Now this pickaxe is kind of like a rainbow pickaxe. It's a bunch of different colors. You can see the lapis in it, the redstone, the gold, the iron, and the diamond. This thing is sick. Okay, now I gotta put this thing to the test. I just picked a random wall. I don't see any ores on it. Let's just go mining into the wall and see what, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> okay, that thing was a lot more extreme than I thought. Look at that. And then it wraps all the way around. Oh, that is insane. All right, I gotta give this another try. That was absolutely crazy. We're gonna dig into this wall. As you can see, nothing on this wall, really. Oh my gosh, the first one. Literally the first block I broke. That is crazy. All right, let's try our next wall. Oh, we got diamonds. Oh my gosh, look at how many diamonds there is. Oh my gosh. This right here is our next pickaxe. Now, it doesn't look like much. Um, It's not an emerald color, but do not underestimate this pickaxe because this is the toughest pickaxe to ever be in Minecraft. The enchantment is called hardness and we're gonna grab our emerald pickaxe. We're gonna throw it on here and then we're gonna go ahead and enchant it. And here we have a pickaxe that can mine any block in the game. There is not a single block that this pickaxe cannot mine. So we're gonna put it to the test and see if it can actually mine bedrock. First, let's try diamonds. Oh my gosh. It's a one hit. It's literally a one hit on the diamonds. I have never seen a pickaxe that strong. You don't even see the blocks crack. What in the world? Okay, let's try bedrock. For the first time in Minecraft history, a pickaxe mining bedrock. Oh, what? No way, dude. Look at that. I can just eat through it. Literally just one click and it just mines it. What? It doesn't even struggle. And look at the durability on this thing. I mean, it is going down. It's already gone down two notches, but still, I mean, we're literally mining bedrock. This is insane. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Can we just dig? Can we just dig? Oh, we just dug through and into the void. Oh my gosh. Unspeakable has fallen out of the world. Moving on to our next pickaxe. This is the cavern pickaxe. And it basically looks like a battle or like a war battle hammer. I don't even know how to explain it but it's basically a really, really thick pickaxe. You thought the firework rocket one was cool? Wait till you see this bad boy. I'm gonna go dig into the wall here and basically what this is going to do is make a massive cavern. It's gonna delete all the blocks in the area, but it will leave all the ores. Look how big of an area this is, bro. Like what? That was just one block that I mined. Gosh, guys, look at all of these ores that we just revealed. And the crazy thing is, is most of these ores around here are not diamonds. So let's go ahead and take our pickaxe right here and turn all of these into diamonds. <laughs> what? If you have all of these pickaxes in your inventory, you are extremely overpowered. Moving on to our next pickaxe here. This one kind of looks like an emerald pickaxe with a firework rocket right through it or even a candy cane, some might say. This thing is sick and if you want to make some damage to a cave system, this is the pickaxe to use. What you do is you pretty much go up to a block mine it and it will pretty much dig about one two three four five six six or seven blocks deep just with one mine just like that now it does actually kind of hurt you which is unfortunate so if you're using this pickaxe you want to make sure you have some armor but the fireworks will also damage mobs check this out so i have like five or six zombies right here now if i go over to the other side and try to mine this wall it is going to dig into the zombies and actually hurt them now, it doesn't necessarily kill them, so I would still recommend having a sword on hand, but it definitely does do some damage to them. Like, check this out. Ready? Boom. Oh, it just killed like three of them. First pickaxe. This pickaxe kind of looks like an emerald pickaxe mixed with a diamond pickaxe. It also looks really, really sharp, and it has to be because this is the diamond converter pickaxe. That thing looks sick when it's enchanted. Okay, so check this out. This is our mine, and there's an iron ore right here. There's an iron ore there, there, and there, and there's not any on the ceiling. So we have a, a couple iron ore here. Now I'm just gonna mine one stone block right here. And then I look up and all of these are diamond ores. What 
in the world. Basically, what this pickaxe does is if you mine one block, it will turn all the ores in the area to diamonds. Now, I would say that this pickaxe is overpowered. This right here is our final pickaxe, and it looks kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Like, one end is, like, really long. The other end is short. It just looks odd, but this pickaxe is super, super awesome. Tunneling pickaxe. Now, if you want to make some tunnels, well, <laughs> this is definitely the pickaxe to do it. I'm going to look at this wall, and I'm just going to dig, and then... Boom, look at this, but it gives you all of the blocks. So guys, let me go through and pick up all of these blocks. I only mined one block, but let's see how many pieces of cobblestone we're gonna get, but this one does, and look at that. Can we just take a moment to look at how many blocks we just got? Look at this. This is from mining one block. With mining only one block, it slowly starts descending, so you'll slowly go down to that diamond level, and it also goes 32 blocks deep. So one block will get you 32 blocks deep. That is just insane. Let's just keep going with this thing. Oh my god. Next obsidian pickaxe is called nuking. Now, it is what you think. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Okay, watch this. Ready? Ready? Boom! <laughs> So it pretty much creates giant craters in the ground. I mean, this is a massive crater. This is probably, I don't know, what do you say? Five, six, seven TNT blocks. It is pretty powerful. And this pickaxe acts in two different ways because you could definitely use it to, well, mine blocks. And it's also a really cool way to mine blocks. But at the same time, it can also protect you from any mobs that are coming at you. Let's say you run into a little bit of a problem and you got a lot of creepers following you. Just go ahead and do that. And uh, pretty much the problem is solved. All right, mine that block. Get rid of that. <laughs> Our next obsidian pickaxe looks like a war hammer. This one is called the ore modifiers. Pretty much what this thing does is you're gonna mine ore. You may think that you're just gonna get normal coal or normal iron, but that is not the case. Whenever you mine one block, it's gonna turn all the blocks in the area to solid blocks instead of just one iron ore. It's gonna give you entire blocks. Look at this, and then you can just convert this to nine pieces what and i'm gonna break this emerald and there's a couple emeralds around me and then boom look at that now they are emerald blocks and also all the iron has turned into iron blocks and all the coal oh my gosh guys that is so op oh here look at that we have some diamonds oh now we have diamond blood. Our next obsidian pickaxe is called the black hole. This thing is just ridiculous. It's going to completely destroy the earth, but it's perfectly fine because right when you mine one block, it will give you every single ore in the area. Look, it's still, it's still dropping me ores. It is still going. Get away, get away, get away. No, no, no. I keep hitting things, so I keep mining things. This is absurd. It's still going. Just be careful of the lava because the lava does start falling. But guys, look at how many ores I got. I literally mined one block. This right here is our first pickaxe. This is the x-ray enchantment. Let me tell you, this boy is overpowered. I'm gonna go up to a wall here, and I'm just gonna start mining, and look at that. It literally deletes all the blocks around me and shows me exactly where the ores are. Like, what? That is so overpowered, ready? You can see right there, there's diamonds, iron, and then it disappears. So it's only for a split second, but still, you can see, like, okay, Okay, am I going in the right direction of the diamonds? Oh, actually, they're right there. I see I would have passed them if I wouldn't have had my x-ray on. And there they are. Look at that. We got ourselves two diamonds just like so. It kind of looks like a magnet, and that's because it is. Let's go ahead and place down our diamond pickaxe, place down our enchantment book. And now we have a pickaxe that seems to be flipped upside down, and it also looks kind of like a magnet. Let me show you guys what this thing will do. So, oh my gosh, that is too OP. So basically what this pickaxe will do is if you break one block, it will bring you every single ore in that area all the ores underground. Dude, you have got to be kidding me. Look at that. I just broke one block. I've broken two blocks and I have 35 iron ingots, five diamonds, almost four stacks of redstone. I have broken two blocks. This is insanity. It brings you all the ores in a 10 by five by 10 block area, which is a pretty big area.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is too OP. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see how long it takes me to get a full inventory. So far, I have mined 20 cobblestone blocks. Let's just see. And I'm just going to keep mining straight. I'm going to mine here. I'll mine until we get to 64 blocks. I'll just mine 64 blocks. And let's see how many ores we got. Gosh, guys, it's so overpowered. Okay, we're at 50. Come on, about 12 more. Almost there. And three, two, one, and stop. I have mined only 64 cobblestone blocks. And this is how many ores I've got. I've got 15 diamonds. I got over a stack of iron ingots. I have so much redstone that I don't even know what I would do with it. I got 18 golden ingots and I have three stacks of coal. What? Bruh. Our next pickaxe here kind of looks like an emerald pickaxe and it's green because, well, it's lucky. Da, 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 da. You see why my skin is green now? Does that, does that make more sense? But this pickaxe is sick and basically it has a chance of actually making ores. I don't really know how this is supposed to work, but it's supposed to make ores for us. So let's just try this over here. You can see that all of these blocks are stone. There's no ores over here. So if I just start, oh. <laughs> what? What in the world? You tell me. You tell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? 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 What is it doing? It's literally just spawning ores. I break one block and it spawns ores right in front of me where I can just break diamonds, gold, anything, you name it. Oh my gosh, guys. We already have two diamonds and four pieces of gold and three iron ores. Oh my gosh. This is literally insane. This is... I, I, what, what if I just break a bunch of different blocks? Okay, so if I break a bunch of different blocks, it just places ores literally everywhere. So I could just go around and literally just break a bunch of random stone blocks and it's just gonna keep placing all these ores what in the world and then if i break that one ore it's just gonna place another ore and it's like a never-ending cycle oh my gosh my mind is my blah. our next pickaxe we have here is super exciting this is called the tnt coat and you can imagine that it probably has something to do with tnt and if you guess that then you are definitely right so this pickaxe i haven't used this yet so i have, I have no idea what to expect but apparently it, it's gonna basically somehow spawn TNT and allow us to mine massive caves. Let's see exactly how this works. So if I just go, oh, it literally just explodes. That is so sick. What? So every time I mine something, it explodes TNT. It, it, whoa, look at all these ores. Oh my gosh. Give me all of these ores. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. Hold on. Let me pick up all of these blocks. Let me show you. Wait, did I break bedrock? Um, there's no way. There is no way that this pickaxe can break bedrock. Oh my gosh, it did it again. What? This pickaxe is so strong that it can break bedrock? That's literally not possible. I think I have a new favorite pickaxe. Okay, so I used the pickaxe about eight or so times, and this is how many blocks I got. That is pretty insane for, for not even that much, and we made a huge cave system. I mean, we literally made our own cave system. That is just insane. I could do this all day. This is definitely an exciting pickaxe to mess around with. Our next pickaxe is the lag mine. Now, this one is actually really, really cool. So we're going to throw a pickaxe on here, throw an enchantment book, and then we have our lag mine. So as you can see, the front of the pickaxe kind of looks like it's like fading away. That's because it's lagging away. And basically what it does is every block you mine, it has a 25% chance of it actually coming back and respawning. See if we can get this to work and get one of these ores to respawn. So we have a gold ore here. Okay. So that one didn't respawn, but wait, it gave me two of them. What in the world? Okay. Oh, it respawned. Look, see, it gave me that one ore and now I have three. What? <laughs> All right, let's try it with the emerald. Okay, it didn't respawn that time. And then, oh, look, it respawned. So we got those two emeralds and now we have a third one because it literally respawned. What in the world? Okay, then we got another iron that respawned. Oh my gosh, that is so, what? <laughs> we got two iron ores that respawned. So I got five diamond ores here. Let's see how many of them we can get to respawn. Oh, our first one. So now we have six. What? Let's see if it does it again. Oh, another one. So we just went from five diamond ores 
It's a seven, just like that. This pickaxe is called the Reach Pickaxe. Now you can probably tell that it's called a Reach Pickaxe due to its size. I mean, look how long it is compared to a normal pickaxe. The sides of it have extended out quite a bit. Check this out. This is the Reach Pickaxe. This is a normal pickaxe. So just look at how much bigger the Reach Pickaxe is. That's crazy. The Reach Pickaxe will allow us to do exactly what you think it does. It allows you to reach a lot further. And it also just destroys an entire path in front of you. So let's see how many blocks it broke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks deep. And it even gave us some ores as well. And that was just with one strike. I mean, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Literally just five pickaxe breaks. And we already have almost two stacks of blocks, two ores, a gold ore, some coal. We, we literally just used the pickaxe five times. I mean, this is literally insane. Look at all what oh did we already find diamonds we have already found diamonds ladies and gentlemen give myself some night vision so we can see a little bit better there is the diamond oh my gosh guys hold on let me pick up these blocks okay so i have used this pickaxe 11 times and let's see how many blocks we've gotten in just breaking 11 blocks hold on i gotta break a couple more just so i can reach these i've almost picked up all the blocks i'm still trying to pick them all up so using this pickaxe 12 times and this is how many blocks i got literally almost an inventory full of blocks. Here's our next pickaxe. It kind of looks like a really, really thick iron pickaxe. So this boy is called Ore Expose. Let's go ahead and grab a normal iron pickaxe and craft it. Now this thing is absolutely insane. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to mine out giant chunks of land and it's going to expose all of the ores to where you can just mine up the ore. I don't even know where to begin with this one. This one is insane. Okay, guys, watch this. What? That was one. That was one block break. One block break. But we can just keep digging down here. I mean, check this out. I mean, look. Look at that. Look at how... <laughs> what? But as you can see, what it does is it basically gets rid of all the cobblestone. And you don't really keep any of the cobblestone, which is kind of sad. But it shows you where all of the ores are. And it doesn't mine any of the ores. So you can see a ton of iron up there all of this coal. If we keep going, we'll just find more and more coal and iron and eventually diamonds. I'm just gonna keep mining here to show you guys, but there we go. Okay, so we just mined for maybe 30 seconds, I wanna say, and check out how many ores we have found. Look at all of this coal. Look at all of this coal. I mean, we that's easily four stacks of coal. All of this coal right here. We're still going, guys. We only mined for 30 seconds. Literally 30 se This is insanity. There we go. There is a bunch of iron up by the surface. That is the ore exposed pickaxe. The next pickaxe we have is the triple pickaxe. Now, this is basically the double pickaxe, but triple. triple. This thing is just insanity. Let me show you guys this. So we put down iron pickaxe. We throw down our enchantment, and then we have ourselves a triple pickaxe pickaxe i mean what in the world am i holding right now i mean you guys thought the double pickaxe was crazy check this boy out we are mining three by three blocks at a time so last time we got about six blocks of cobblestone in 60 seconds let's see how many we can get with the triple pickaxe that's my last one okay let me go through and collect all the extra blocks that we might have missed look at this look at this tunnel it's only been 60 seconds <laughs> imagine doing this for an hour oh my gosh that is okay so this is what we did in 60 seconds and we have gotten this mini blocks oh my in 60 seconds we got over 14 and a half stacks of cobblestone a whole stack of dirt as well and i mean that is just crazy this next pickaxe is kind of like a diamond and iron pickaxe mixed together let me go ahead and grab one of these and then i'll grab one of these pickaxes and let's craft it now this pickaxe has a really cool special ability as well it basically allows you to have a higher chance to mine diamonds check this out i mine an iron ore and then well it gives me the iron ore i mine a coal ore and well it gives me the coal ore but check out what happens when i mine stone when you mine stone you have a 20 
25% chance of getting diamonds. What? From stone? You're telling me all I gotta do is go mine stone and I can get diamonds? Yes, that is literally exactly what I'm saying. There's another diamond. We got three diamonds already and we mined out an area. Oh, four diamonds and we mined out an area this big. Basically, you can mine four stone blocks and you can pretty much get a diamond. So hold on. Let me do some math here. If I mine 35 pieces of cobblestone and I got five diamonds, my math is correct. That means if you were to mine 1,200 cobblestone blocks, you would get 300 diamonds. A little overpowered. <laughs> this right here is our next pickaxe. It's like a double-sided pickaxe. Now, it actually has a super special ability, and I'll show you guys whenever we get to using it. So let's grab a pickaxe, and then we will throw on our enchantment book, and then there we have it, our double-sided pickaxe. I mean, this thing just looks so, so cool when you're holding it. But this pickaxe is not your ordinary pickaxe, ladies and gentlemen. It acts like a normal pickaxe. If I just start mining ores, it will pick up the ores just like a normal iron pickaxe would. However, whenever you throw it on the ground, it is going to start auto mining. <laughs> What? Look at how many blocks it just mined in one throw. Hold up. Let me, hold on. Let me pick up all of these blocks real quick. Oh my gosh. Just in one throw, this is how many blocks we got. I mean, my inventory is already full of stuff, guys. This is truly insanity. This is definitely the craziest pickaxe. I mean, look at that. It's starting to lag because there is so many blocks on the ground. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more time. That is insane. <laughs> now we're going to start start off with a simple one. This one is called the double pickaxe. And basically what all these are is enchanted books. Now this enchantment book is called extra mine level one. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab an iron pickaxe. I'm gonna throw it on this anvil and then throw our enchantment book. And then now we have a double pickaxe. <laughs> Look at this thing. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The double pickaxe basically allows you to mine a two by two area instead of just one block, which allows for you to be much more efficient in your mining. I mean, I can mine two by two blocks instead of just one. I mean, how cool is that? Okay, let me pick all of these up. There's just some blocks that I left behind here. Uh, little blocks there. So just in 60 seconds, I was able to get over six stacks of cobblestone and a bunch of other blocks as well. In 60 seconds. That's crazy. Check this last obsidian sword out, guys. It looks crazy. It's like three swords in one. And this enchantment is called Committed. It definitely looks the craziest for sure. And basically what the Committed enchantment is gonna do is it's gonna deal a lot of extra damage to mobs that don't have full health. We're going for the pillagers first. Oh! Only two hits? Two hits? What? Okay, let's see if I can group these guys together. Boom, dead. Boom, just like that. So easy. You can see that they're damaged too because the mobs will actually start bleeding with this enchantment. That is just crazy. Definitely the best looking sword for sure. Our next obsidian sword is called Echo. And if you look at this sword, it kind of looks like it's like duplicating in a way. And that's exactly what this sword does. Basically what the sword does is it has a chance of duplicating your previous hit. So basically dealing double the amount of damage in one hit. I'm going for the pillagers first. Oh snap. And he's down just like that. Let's go. Oh my gosh. They're so easy to kill. What? It's about two hits for a pillager. Oh, I just killed two zombies. It only took four hits to kill those four zombies. So I would say the echo enchantment is definitely one for the books. That is overpowered. But our next obsidian Minecraft sword is called the chains sword. And it's kind of an obsidian sword that looks like it's wrapped in purple chains. It's actually really cool. Basically what this sword is going to do is it's going to trap the mobs in chains so they can't do anything for a couple seconds. So let's see if I can defeat all these guys. All right, I'm going to hit this guy. There we go. Look, the trapped in chains. Oh yeah. Look at that. So now now I can focus on some of these other mobs. Look at that. <laughs> that is so overpowered. Look at this guy. He's still trapped over here. Oh, he's out. Oh, trap him again. That is so sick. And I killed them all. Literally didn't take any damage from all those mobs, especially the pillagers being super overpowered. This right here is our next Minecraft sword, and it is called the Rampage Obsidian Sword. This one is crazy. Let's go ahead and grab our enchantment book, grab our normal sword. This thing is crazy. And the reason it's called Rampage is because when you have this sword, you want to go on a rampage because the more things you kill, 
kill, the stronger the sword gets. But you have to do it on a rampage. You have to do it rapidly. So we got to kill him really, really fast because I'm just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Let's go on a rampage and let's see how good we can kill most of these guys. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Come on. Going on a rampage. Oh, guys, I'm getting cornered here. There's too many zombies. Oh, no, this is not good. This is not good. Come on. I need to go on a rampage. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. These guys stand no chance. It's almost one hit kill. Oh, the baby zombie got me at the last second. Our first obsidian sword right here is the weakening sword. Now, this thing is crazy. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to weaken the mob damage that it does to me. So normally, if a skeleton, for example, did one or two hearts of damage, it's going to weaken that so they're not as powerful. So let's go ahead and test it out and see how well this works. Now, keep in mind, I have no armor on right now. Okay, so I'm currently weakening their health and weakening their damage against me. Look at that. He only did like one heart of damage when he hit me. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, well, there is kind of a lot of them, so they might defeat me. Oh, but they're going down. Oh, I got shot by one of the pillagers. Ah, oh, you are left. You are left. Okay, so I'm, okay, I killed that guy in one hit too. All right, so I'm going to hit this guy once. Now his damage is weakened. Look at that. He only did like half heart of damage. Oh my gosh, they normally do so much more damage than that. That is so so cool so moving on to our next minecraft sword we have the exploding minecraft sword now this one is pretty cool and it also looks kind of like a firework or a tnt block it's an all red diamond sword you can call it the ruby sword if you must this thing is sick and it has a random chance of exploding the mobs nearby so let's go ahead and give this thing a try hello little zombie oh my gosh it's literally just exploding and the good thing about this sword is it doesn't do too much damage to you. All right, we got a creeper right here. Let's see. Oh, see, normally the creepers explode, but this time it's the sword exploding. What a dramatic effect. That is so sick. Come here, spiders. Come here. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. So you might take some fall damage if you explode and fly upward. This sword is crazy. I think this might be my favorite one. This is the gravity Minecraft diamond sword. So I don't really know how this is gonna work, but we're we're just gonna test it out and hopefully it's not too bad all right so let's see exactly how this works oh oh my gosh it brings all the mobs near wait what is that what is that is that another sword what the heck oh my gosh i don't think this sword is a good what in the world? Okay, so we got four zombies over here. If I hit one of them, it brings them all to me. And then you can get even more of a critical hit. I don't really know if this is a good sword, guys. This is a kind of a bad sword. <laughs> this right here is our next diamond sword. Now, this is probably the strongest diamond sword in history. This is called the critical hit. I don't even know what's going on here. But apparently, this is a critical hit sword that can do three times the amount of damage of a normal diamond sword. Now, the critical hit it is random. Oh, that was the critical hit right there. Oh, that was another critical hit. <laughs> Oh no, the ice has melted over here. What is going on? The critical hit sword will allow you to kill mobs literally in one hit. That's if you get the critical hit. Sometimes you'll have to hit them twice. What about a thunder diamond sword? This diamond sword kind of looks like it's been struck by lightning and that is exactly what has happened. This thing is sick. Guys, wait till you see what it does to mobs though. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're going to explode. Oh! Oh wait, that's probably not a good idea because now he's a charge creeper. Oh, Okay, maybe you shouldn't use the thundering sword on the creepers. Uh, yeah, not not the best idea. <laughs> oh my gosh, the zombies might be a little bit of a better idea though. Back up, get out of it. Oh, yeah, just be careful to kill the mobs a little bit distant from you. This is the first sword we're gonna take a look at, and this is the freezing diamond sword. So this thing looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, and you're probably like unspeakable. Freezing? What exactly does that do? Well, let me show you here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How are you doing? Oh, there. There you go with the click of a button you can freeze a zombie a creeper any type of mob in a ice block just like that that is so sick just try not to freeze them right next to your house because you know they'll kind of destroy the house you can even put a creeper in there it's, it's great it's actually extremely useful and they're not gonna get out of this frozen cube until they die which is wonderful this right here is our next sword and it's called swirling basically what it does is it gives you a random chance to have a spinning attack damage to all the mobs in your vicinity it's really cool and really overpowered so let's go ahead and grab one of these books we already got a sword right here let's throw the enchantment book on there 
there and look at this sword it honestly it kind of looks like a diamond sword but it is oh look at that did you see that right when i picked it up it gives me a random chance to do that and also check out how many arrows are in my body let's give this a try let's see if we oh look at that look at that i just swirled oh my gosh oh my gosh okay i did die because i was on low health but did you see how many zombies i just killed i'm going in again look how many zombies are out here in front of me all right i'm just gonna start attacking oh look at that i just swirled around and killed all the zombies in front of me oh there it goes again oh my gosh all right check this out guys oh <laughs> that is so so sick it actually makes you swirl quite a bit too i don't know about this sword i really like it but at the same time i think i might get dizzy playing minecraft oh my gosh there's so many zombies over here and i literally only have a heart left let's see if the swirling oh the swirling almost saved me that was sick this right here is our next sword and it is all red this sword is actually really cool and it's called leeching and basically what it allows you to do is it takes all the damage that you deal to mobs and it uses it to heal yourself i know it sounds pretty crazy but you're not gonna believe it when i show you guys this sword so let's go ahead and grab the sword because there's a skeleton right out here but look whenever i hurt this skeleton it's just gonna start healing me look with every hit it's gonna heal me boom i'm healed look at my health guys look how crazy that is let the skeleton attack me a little bit there you go all right now let's go in and hit him a bit and look at that i'm just regenerating health that is so overpowered this is probably definitely one of my favorite swords because the more you hit mobs the more you heal yourself oh these baby zombies are so annoying they're so annoying stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it oh my gosh i am literally just getting attacked by so many mobs right now but the more mobs i hit the more health i have they're never going to be able to destroy me oh my gosh literally how cool is that oh there's a creeper that just exploded behind me and i barely even knew what happened okay chill buddy chill buddy look at that boom i'm gonna kill this mob and look at that i'm back up to full health that is so cool this right here is our next sword now it doesn't look like much but just wait since this sword is much smaller you can actually attack twice as fast let's go ahead and grab the enchantment book go over grab a sword slap it on the anvil enchant it and then boom there you go that wasn't supposed to happen what just happened it disappeared there it is check it out whenever i hold the sword i have two of them in my hands how cool is this and this basically allows you to attack twice as fast look at how fast i can attack these mobs normally in minecraft you'd have to wait for that cooldown to get the maximum critical damage but with this i can literally attack them so fast i mean guys watch this look how fast i can hit them look at that look at that look at that oh snap oh oh the spiders want some oh you guys want some huh oh yeah oh yeah look at that look at that look at that multiple hits a second that is so op literally killing zombies just like that this right here is our next minecraft sword and this is called the soul stealer so it kind of looks like a mix between an iron and a diamond sword it honestly looks really really cool it's just a good looking sword but let's go ahead and grab our enchantment book let's go ahead and grab our iron sword throw it on the anvil throw the enchantment book on and then we have ourselves the soul stealer this thing is sick basically what this sword does is it captures souls and all oh, that creeper's about to blow up oh my gosh you gotta be kidding me okay whenever the sword reaches 10 souls it will form a massive blast around me killing all the mobs so check this out let's try to get 10 souls here there you go there's a soul it just captured one get out of here that yep there's a skull right there that little blue thing there we go there we go get out of here zombie uh, i only have half a heart but i was able to trap some zombies in here let me show you guys how this sword works so basically it's gonna keep hitting them as you can see there's tons of zombies in here and boom all dead with one hit so whenever i collect 10 souls it basically kills every mob around me that is super op and it's really good in stressful situations where you're about to die this right here is the first sword we're gonna look at it's called poison cloud and you can see it's an iron sword but it's kind of green that's because it's covered in poison we're gonna grab the poison cloud enchantment book and then we're gonna grab an iron sword throw it onto the anvil throw this on and now we have our poison cloud sword now all these zombies look like they want to get messed with hey skeleton you be careful oh there it is there's the poison poison cloud look at that this sword has a random chance of literally forming a poison cloud around me to affect all the mobs within my area how cool 
is that oh my gosh that is so sick just instantly kills all the mobs around me let's see if we can get the sword to do that again although i'm really not having a good time with all these guys there's the poison cloud look at that it's literally hurting every mob in this area it doesn't hurt me at all but it kills all the mobs oh my gosh oh no i got sniped this is chest plate number five and it's the burning chest plate it's basically just like the chilling chest plate but exactly the opposite it burns all the mobs that get near you it looks like I'm wearing a chest plate that's on fire. All right, let's give this a try. This one is going to be an interesting one. All right, we're about to find out. Set all these guys on fire. Come on. Set them on fire. Set them on fire. I'm waiting for it. Oh, what? So it does it completely randomly. Like there's no command or nothing. It's just whenever it wants to set all the mobs on fire, it will do it. Oh, all the skeletons are on fire now. Hopefully they are not shooting fire arrows. And dinner. Oh! Yo, my timing is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Our next chest plate right here is called the chilling chest plate. Now, this one is pretty interesting because it will actually slow mobs down around you. And it low key looks like the chest plate is kind of frozen on you. It's really cool. Apparently, you don't even have to hit the mobs for the slowing down or freezing effect to work. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's get rid of these. Oh, wait, it's already working. Look how slow they're moving. All right, wait, wait for them to freeze again. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Oh, look. You can see all the ice particles, and now they're walking so slow. That is so useful. Even freezes the cows. What the heck? All right, let's try to stand near the cows. Come on. You're under arrest. Oh! <laughs> this next chest plate is called the Frenzy. Now, this one is actually super, super cool. Basically, if your health gets super low, it will allow you to attack really fast. So, you know how when they introduced that new Minecraft update, and now your sword has that little cooldown thing? Well, with this chest plate, if your health gets low, that cooldown goes away and you could spam your sword. Let's give this a try and see how well it works. I'm gonna let some of these mobs hit me and I'm gonna let my health get a little low here. All right, come on, keep hitting me, guys. All right, there we go. Ooh, wait, what? It even gave me a speed boost. All right, look how, oh, look how fast I can attack them. There's no cooldown. Oh, I died, unfortunately, but there's no cooldown. Look at that, look at that. No cooldown whatsoever. I can just spam click all these mobs just like the good old days of Minecraft. That is so OP. Oh, Oh my gosh, what? And even though you have no cooldown, you're still doing full attack damage. This chest plate is actually really cool. It's called Soul Speed. And basically what it's going to do is the more mobs that you kill, the faster you'll actually be able to run. It also looks really sick. It's like the mixture of a diamond and an iron enchanted chest plate. It looks really good. Let's go ahead and test this out. The more mobs I kill, the faster I can run. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill a mob right here. Okay, a little faster. Let's go ahead and kill this one. Oh, I'm getting a little faster on the speed. Oh, now I'm getting a lot faster. Let's spawn in some more mobs here. Let's get rid of these skeletons. Get rid of these husks as well. <laughs> Look how fast I am now. Oh my gosh. I have like maybe speed five right now. I'm pretty quick. I think this chest plate would be super useful if you're in a sticky situation with a lot of mobs chasing you. Because you kill one, you get faster. Kill a second one, you get even faster. And it just keeps building from there so you can get far away from them. Plates, all I need you guys to do is click that red subscribe button because next time I'm going to show you guys five new helmets. <laughs> Let's hop inside this big old anvil. Thank you, Miles Place, for making this awesome, awesome map. We gotta climb upstairs here. Now, unfortunately, this anvil doesn't actually work. It's just a giant house, but it is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna start off with our first chest plate here, and this is called the deflect chest plate. It looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. It actually protects you quite a bit as well. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop shooting your friend. All right, shoot me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the arrow bounced off me and hurt the skeleton. All right, watch this. Ready? He's gonna shoot me. <laughs> The next helmet is the last helmet I'm going to show you guys, and it's pretty crazy. So first, let me show you guys. This is what it looks like when you're underwater in Minecraft. It's daytime right now. Look how dark it is. I can't see anything. Let me go ahead and throw on the helmet. Look at that. I can literally see everything everything. So this helmet basically gives you the ability to see underwater. Look, I can see those plants all the way over there. Now, if I take off this helmet, boom. I mean, I can still see them, but oh boy, is it dark. I cannot see anything. Looks really creepy down here. I'm not going to lie, but when you put the helmet on, it looks kind of nice. 
nice. You can see pretty, pretty far. This next helmet I'm gonna show you guys basically looks like a sponge and I want you to try and guess what it does. We are wearing a sponge. Wow, I look beautiful. Kinda look like I have a shower cap on. I'm looking nice. If you guys guess that the sponge removes the water around you, you are correct. <laughs> this literally allows you to just walk freely on the ocean floor. You can mine blocks just like you would if you weren't in the water. Exploring shipwrecks, walking through cave systems is just incredible with this helmet. This is so cool. Imagine how easy it would be to build an underwater house using just this helmet. You wouldn't have to get rid of any water. You could just go down there, build a house, and just put the helmet on. This is incredible. This is so cool. Guys, leave a like on this video if you think Minecraft should add this helmet into the game. Here we have our next helmet. This one, probably one of my favorites. And personally, I think they should add this into Minecraft. This is the scuba helmet. You got a scuba mask. Now, basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to be underwater as if you weren't underwater. You can swim a lot faster. You you can stay underwater a lot longer and you can mine underwater like you would out of water. Check this out. Check how fast I can swim. I am swimming at least 30 to 40% faster than normal. Okay, not bad. It's not that slow at all. Look at that. Compared to what it was before, like here, let me just mine some of these blocks. You guys see how fast they're mining, right? Okay, let me take off the helmet. Now let me mine a block. Oh my gosh. Oh my, it's literally half the speed. And then let me put back on the helmet, ready? Boom, boom. Oh, look at this. You being able to explore through all these underwater cave systems without worrying about air at all, that's incredible. Guys, we still haven't lost one bubble yet. That is incredible. There is so many ores in these underwater caves. Oh, flip, this one goes pretty deep. This one goes really deep, actually. Oh, what is this? Oh, snap. Yo, let's go. I love exploring the ocean. I have not lost a bubble yet. I have full bubbles now, full bubbles. You guys kind of get the point of this helmet. I'm very, very confident that you could stay underwater for a good 10, maybe even 15 minutes with this helmet. This is the next helmet we're going to look at. It's the Guardian helmet, and it literally looks like a Guardian. You can see the eye kind of on the top. It's actually really cool. The Guardian helmet. This helmet is crazy. It gives Gives you the abilities of a guardian. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the guardian laser beam. We have some puffer fish down here that I think we're going to try this on. Now its range is only 10 blocks. There you go, look at that. Oh! <laughs> All you have to do is hold ship and then all of a sudden the guardian lasers will start shooting It only has a range of 10 blocks and it only works for a couple seconds just like a guardian Come here little puffer fish. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're big puffy. How do you like my laser beam? <laughs> Yo, this thing is so sick. I never thought being a guardian and being able to shoot lasers would be so much fun. Oh, that big puffer fish. Ready to taste my laser beam? So basically what it does is you guys see that it changes colors. The green and yellow laser doesn't do any damage. It's just kind of there for you to aim. And then once it turns red and dark red, that's when it starts dealing all the damage. This right here is our fish shield helmet. And it literally looks like a fish helmet. In order to make this helmet, we're gonna grab an iron helmet, throw it on there, enchant it with this book, and boom! We got a fish head. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. What in the world am I wearing right now? Now, when I go underwater with this helmet, I am going to get a shield of fish around me that allows me to take less damage underwater because all of these fish are protecting me. Isn't this the weirdest thing ever? Are you kidding me? Most of you guys are probably curious and speak of, well, what happens when you leave the water? Well, let's just go up to the surface and find find out. Oh, oh, the fish die. Oh, that's so sad. What? Let's test this fish helmet out real quick. There's a guardian right here. Mr. Guardian, try to kill me. You would not kill me. You would kill my fish. <laughs> Look at that. Barely does any damage. Oh my gosh. He did one heart of damage. Guardians do not normally do one heart of damage. Okay. Well, now I'm taking a lot of damage because I'm suffocating. All right. Go back inside. Okay. And then all the fish die, unfortunately. So, <laughs> <laughs> cool fishies. Well, at least when you kill the fish, you do get a good meal. So I guess it's a win-win situation. The helmet gives you food and it also gives you protection. Our last pair of boots looks kind of like a... I'm just gonna let you guys guess. Just, just guess. It looks like another mob. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. 
And if you know what mob I'm talking about, then you also probably know what these boots are gonna do. They're pretty crazy if you ask me. Let me go ahead and throw these bad boys on. When walking with these boots on, they feel kind of heavy. If you look at the way I'm walking, I'm like walking a little slow, almost like as if I'm walking on soul sand or slime. But whatever I press space, I'm gonna start flying. Look at that. Guys, I'm in survival mode right now. I'm in survival mode and I am flying. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then if you let go of it, you'll slowly start floating down kind of like a chicken. But if you want to stay in one place, all you got to do is hold shift and boom, you are just floating in the air. This is crazy. What? So these are five Minecraft boots that they should add into Minecraft. These are some boots with the fur. The next boots we're going to look at kind of look like fire. And there's a reason for that. These boots are so, so cool. If you want to build an under lava base, these are the boots you need. Go and grab our iron boots, grab our enchantment book, and we have our molten lava boots. I'm just going to walk into the lava and look at this. You are just departing all of the lava. It is crazy. Now you might catch on fire on accident. It's not the most perfect thing. Of course, these boots are still in testing, but look at that. There's ores under here that you can get. Are you kidding me? I bet you guys didn't know that there was ores on the bottom floor and blackstone. Are you kidding me, dude? I didn't know any of this stuff was on the floor of the nether. And like I said, if you're looking to build a base in the lava, you need these boots because it's just going to part the way for you. That is so, so cool. These are so useful. This next pair of Minecraft boots kind of looks like magma and there's a reason for it, but these boots are way crazier than you think. Let's go ahead and build these boots. Let's throw down our iron ones, throw down the enchantment book. There we have it, our magma iron boots. If you hold down shift, you will be propelled into the sky. And it's super helpful when there's a lot of mobs trying to attack you, wait for it, and... Eat! Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I died because I took fall damage, but let's see how many mobs we kill. <laughs> Literally, there was like 50 of them. Look at it. Look how many there are. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Eat! <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you can actually wait. Wait, can you? Oh, you can control your landing. Oh! So that's how you land. I see. Okay, never mind about the fall damage thing. I just don't know how to work these pair of boots. Here's our next pair of boots. These kind of look like the feet of a strider, and there's a reason for it. Let me show you guys. We're gonna grab our iron boots, and oh my gosh, everything's broken over here because the fire. Oh, I forgot I was wearing them. <laughs> Go ahead and place down your iron boots, and then place down your enchantment book, and you have your boots that look like you have the feet of a strider and like i said for a reason these boots look like a strider that's because you can walk on lava this is kind of like the frost walker enchant for ice but for lava this is so helpful and look our friendly strider oh oh I, I, okay i'm sorry I, I walk away i walk away look at his feet our feet kind of look the same there <laughs> These boots are so helpful, guys. Yes, we have fire resistance potions in Minecraft, but if they have a frost walker enchant, don't you think they should have a lava walker enchant? Come on, Minecraft and Mojang. I know these boots are a little bit OP, but just make them a little hard to get. Let's start off with our first pair of boots here. We have the blaze boots. Now, these kind of look like golden boots, I would say. However, they're iron. <laughs> Mind blown. Our iron blaze boots that totally look like gold boots but yo that's what they do <laughs> so i'm gonna press this button and watch this guys eat, eat. okay these guys are actually gonna kill me the piglins are very strong <laughs> check this out there are you kidding me all i have to do is hold shift and it shoots fire in like a hundred different ways look all the piglins are dead Oh, there's the last one. These boots might be a little too overpowered. And also, they have a limited range. Look how far some of these fireballs are shooting. Literally forever. They don't stop until they hit a wall or a mob. But our next gadget is sick. It is called mob repellent. And you guys are about to see what it does. So let's say you have tons of zombies that are coming towards your Minecraft house. And then you want to just quickly use mob repellent. It's basically a spray that gets rid of mobs 
instantly. No matter what mob it is, it's just gonna get rid of it just like that. It's literally like having a sharpness 100 Minecraft sword. It is so overpowered. Watch. Boom. And he's gone. I mean, we can literally spawn hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of zombies. Let me spawn hundreds. Hold on. There we go, guys. Look at all of these zombies. Let's let them get all at the villager's house. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and use the mob repellent and boom, they're all gone just like that. <laughs> I mean, it's literally that easy. That is so crazy how fast it works. That is insane. So mob repellent, I would highly recommend. Our next gadget is pretty cool. This is called the time manipulator. Now, I don't really know if this is going to save the villagers, but it might help them out a little bit. So let's go ahead and spawn in tons of zombies. Here we go. And then let's use the time manipulator. Time increased. Time increased. Oh no, what does that mean? I keep using it. Is it making the time faster or slower? Look at the sky. The sun is going around and I made it daytime. So it killed all of the zombies. Yo, that is so sick. Okay, wait, if I click it again, so it changes the time of day. So let's say it's nighttime. All the zombies are here. They're attacking your house. You can use the time manipulator and make it daytime. Look at that. We're gonna make it daytime and then the zombies start burning. So I would say that the time manipulator is very successful considering that you can change the time of day at any time. If you're in a stressful situation, there's tons of zombies, tons of skeletons. You can literally just use the time manipulator and make it daytime so they all burn. We got more villagers in the house and our next gadget is a hover pad. The way the hover pad works is pretty simple. You place it down and whatever walks on it will basically fly up into the air. So we're gonna try to surround the house with these hover pads and see what happens. Oh my gosh There's so many of them. Check it out guys. We got the entire house surrounded by these hover pads Let's go ahead and spawn in these zombies and see if they can get past them. Let's just try one zombie here He's going he's got all oh, and he starts floating. Oh, it looks like he's just gonna keep taking fall damage From the hover pad pushing him up. All right, let's try to spawn in a couple more zombies just a couple more more zombies. Oh, it looks like some of them have made it through, but the majority of the zombies keep taking fall damage. Look at these zombies. They can't even make it through. They're just flying up and keep getting sent back. Unfortunately, some of the zombies aren't taking fall damage, and unfortunately, a lot of the zombies have made it through the hover pads. The hover pads are cool, and they may work for some mobs, but if you have 20 mobs attacking your house, it might not work. Our next item is pretty crazy. We are stepping it up to a century cannon. Now, I'm going to remove this zombie before he gets absolutely destroyed. Buddy, you want to get out of here. This is for your own safety, I promise. Just keep walking away. Oh my gosh, he's going to come back. We're going to place four sentry guns on each of the corners. Check these things out. They're massive, massive sentry guns, and they shoot fireballs at anyone that comes near them. Look at that. And this is why I made the house out of bedrock, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're even shooting at the phantoms. Let's see if the sentry guns can protect the zombies. We're gonna go ahead and spawn in tons of zombies. That's a good, like, 20 or 30 zombies right there. The zombies are definitely making it to the front of the house, but the sentry guns are also taking care of business. Oh, snap! I think the sentry gun's slightly confused. I think he's trying to shoot at the villagers. I placed a couple more sentry cannons around the property because it seems like the ones on top of the property aren't working too well. Oh! Oh, there's a baby zombie that made it inside. No, all the villagers are suffering. Oh my gosh. Let's try to spawn more zombies and see what happens. We're going for a big, big army of zombies, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's see if the sentry guns can take care of business against these hundreds of zombies. Oh my gosh. This sentry gun is getting attacked like crazy. Okay, so I don't really know who's winning here. I don't know if it's the sentry guns or the zombies. This is a pretty even battle. All I'm saying is I see less and less zombies as we keep going. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I think it's safe to say that the sentry guns have won this battle. And unfortunately, we have zombie villagers now because one of the baby zombies got in. Oh, oh, there goes the baby zombie. That sentry gun got him. Oh, 
my gosh, guys. This is insane. <laughs> all right. Well, pretty much all the zombies are gone. There's a couple more over here, but I don't even know if they want any of this. It's safe to say that if you want to protect your Minecraft house, sentry guns is the way to go. Yes, my house is made out of bedrock. And the reason I made it out of bedrock is because some of these devices explode and I don't want the house to explode as well. If a zombie touches the wall of the house, the zombies win. Other than this zombie, that, that doesn't count. You got a head start. That is not fair. Let's go ahead and begin with the freeze trap gadget. Now, before we get started, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you guys want to see more content like this on my channel in the future. So what we're going to do, we're going to place these freeze traps around the house just like so. Look at that. The house is surrounded by freeze traps. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in a ton of zombies and see if they can make it to the front door. Here we go. Spawning in the zombies. I'm spawning in literally hundreds of them. Here they go. Let's see if they can make it. Oh, they're all stopped. It's like they don't even want to go near the villagers. Are you guys all frozen right now? Oh, one zombie just died because he got too close to the ice. Oh, they're coming in. They destroyed one of the freeze traps. Let me see if I can place another freeze trap. Oh, snap. It's killing all of the zombies. It looks like the zombies have made it to the wall. So they definitely win this one. Look at the freeze trap literally killing all of the zombies. Oh my gosh. But now we're stepping it up to lightning. Now there's a couple zombies that haven't been killed off yet, but we are going to surround the house. The craft house is surrounded by lightning rods, so let's go ahead and spawn in tons of zombies and see if they'll enter the front door. Here we go. Oh my gosh. The lightning rod is already attacking all the zombies. This is insane. Oh no. It's turning all the villagers into witches. That is not good, but it's definitely killing all the zombies, I will say. Let's go ahead and spawn more of these zombies in real quick. Oh yeah. Look at all the zombies rushing to the house. Ooh, some of them have made it to the wall, but they're not lasting very long at all. All of them are dead already. 